Did you know that I created my own cryptocurrency worth over 200 million dollars just last year? So, how did I become a millionaire and what is going on behind all of this? In this particular video, we'll be talking about liquidity pools, we'll also be talking about market cap and how cryptocurrencies actually get their value. Okay, so here we'll be creating our own liquidity pools. We'll be understanding how cryptocurrencies actually get their value from. So let's just start with it. Let me uh, draw a circle. And this circle represents a liquidity pool. But what exactly is a liquidity pool and why do you even need it? So to understand that better, let's first assume that you have created your own cryptocurrency. You've seen one of my videos. You've created your own ERC-20 token. Right. So uh, say your token's name is Doge, say it's Dogecoin, right? So, so you created Doge. Okay. So you've created Doge coins. Now you want to set its value. How do you actually do that? And that's where liquidity pools actually come into play. So in liquidity pools, you have to understand some principles. The first principle and the most important one is that all liquidity pools are created in pairs right so all these liquidity pools always have two cryptocurrencies in them oops i just have one cryptocurrency with me which is doge where do i get the other one from so the other cryptocurrency is usually a stable coin okay so usually if you're creating your own token and you're keeping the liquidity pool for the first time then usually the second cryptocurrency is a stable coin usdt usdc or whatever you want to use right so let's create our liquidity pool using these two principles the second one is optional but uh, yeah it is followed by a lot of people also one more thing that i wanted to mention was that at the end of this video we also talk about liquidity provider rewards so you actually as the name suggests get rewards for being a liquidity provider for others cryptocurrencies so let's understand how all of these things work this is just crypto jargon being used over here so don't worry i'll simplify every single thing okay so the first step that you did was create your doge coin the second step that you did was create this liquidity pool now you put in say 100 doge coins and as the first principle states Liquidity pools are always created in pairs, pairs of cryptocurrencies. So that's why you also put in 100 USDC. So over here, you have created your own liquidity pool of 100 Doge and 100 USDC. So what does this mean? Does this give value to your cryptocurrency now? Yes, it does. It actually gives one Doge, one Doge, the price of one USDC. So if you want to purchase Doge now, you would have to pay one USDC to purchase one token. But, but how did we land on this price? Now many of you guys might have guessed it, but in order to calculate this price, you just need to do the ratio of both of the cryptocurrencies that are available at in the liquidity pool. So over here we have 100 uh, Doge and 100 USDC. The ratio comes out to be one doge per usdc so that's how you actually get the price of one doge and uh, it's quite simple say for example you had 200 doge instead of 100 the price would be two doge per usdc so uh, that's how it all works it's really simple and straightforward nothing too complex let's understand some other things now so now that you've created your own liquidity pool, people will start buying your cryptocurrencies. They'll be selling it. So how does all of this buying and selling actually affect your cryptocurrency's price? Let's understand it using an example. So over here, we'll take the same example, 100 Doge versus 100 USDC. Okay, so we've taken the same example and Say for example, you've convinced an investor, this is our investor, and you've convinced him to buy 50 Doge coins from you. So he's ready to put in 50 USDC. Of course, because one Doge is equal to 50 USDC, he'd be getting back 50 Doge tokens. 
फोर्टी और फोर्टी फाइव डोज टोकन एंड दिस एक्चुअली हैपन्स बिकॉज ऑफ अ लॉर्ड ऑफ फीस प्लस स्लिपेज सो स्लिपेज इज नथिंग बट स्लिपिंग ऑफ द प्राइसिस ऑफ क्रिप्टो करेंसीज नाउ इन ऑर्डर टू अंडरस्टैंड इट फील डीप डाइव इन टू इट लेटर बट right now you just need to understand that it is some kind of transaction fees and that fees actually increases if you try to buy more of those tokens if this investor was to buy just one doge token then the slippage would be much less so just understand it right now as slippage is something which increases with the amount of tokens that you're trying to buy with the bigger the transaction the higher the slippage price right um another thing that i wanted to talk about was liquidity provider fees so as i just mentioned over here that liquidity providers actually get rewards and this fees is generally around 0.3% or somewhat so it's not much but yes liquidity provider also gets some kind of fees every single time a transaction is being made through its liquidity pool so um everything has been understood you've understood liquidity pool rewards now let's understand the price movement right so that is what we were going to study so let me just remove all of these things and let's get back to the price movement so over here the new liquidity pool actually becomes 50 doge and over here it comes out to be 150 usdc right because 50 usdc was given and 50 doge was taken out so that's how liquidity pool actually changes now this particular investor is now left with um around 50 doge and is down by 50 usdc so the price of doge tokens previously was around 1 usdc right so for every usdc you were able to buy one doge token but now the price has actually changed so how has it changed let's do the calculation again so over here we'll take 150 usdc we'll divide it by 50 doge and get the price per doge right so if we just divide it you'll get 3 usdc divided by doge which basically means that you would have to pay 3 usdc in order to buy one doge coin and that's how because people are starting to buy doge coins by investing usdc its prices have also gone up if people start selling doge coins its value in the pool actually increases right and usdc's value decreases so that's why the ratio if you take uh, doge coins value will actually start going down say for example if in the liquidity pool you just have 50 usdc and you have 150 doge coins now when people start selling doge coins so it's getting a bit crowded let me just remove all of these things so now how do you actually earn using this knowledge right you've understood what liquidity pool is what liquidity provider fees is so how do you actually earn from it the first way is obviously by being a liquidity provider right so if you become a liquidity provider you would start earning fees you can become a liquidity provider by just going on to any of the dexes so some of the dexes include uniswap so some of the dexes include uniswap uh let me just write it down uh you have uniswap you have pancakeswap any of the decentralized exchanges you can go over there and start being a liquidity provider so that is how you will earn liquidity provider fees and the second way in which you can start earning using these liquidity pools through arbitrage now we have not talked about arbitrage in this particular uh, video but let me know in the comment section below if you guys want me to make another video about arbitrage and how you can use this knowledge in order to earn money using it so if this video gets over 600 likes i will make another video just for that 